Hi, yo, Choice here. Thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Here, I just want to take a moment and then share with you some things you can incorporate at this time that will help you to direct your mind, intentionally direct your mind. Now, I know I've done other videos. I'd like to just remind you about because some of us, we, we want to keep our vibe on high. We want to uh, direct our minds, create our own reality, call forth the things that we desire, you know? And it's all linked to vibration, you know? It's all linked to vibration and the frequency that you attach to vibration, that makes things, that forms things, that creates things, okay? And the frequency is directly related to your emotions, how you feel about what you are thinking or what you perceive, okay? So I'm just going to speak to you briefly about auto-suggestion. And what is auto-suggestion? Auto-suggestion is a self-directing. It's, it's giving yourself commands and uh, aff affirmations in order to begin to direct your thinking. Now, you know I always talk about how others take control of our minds this way because they plant, you know, they put out images that we see over and over and over again, you know. Uh, they put out uh, different signals and sounds that we hear over and over, which trigger certain reactions, that even it begins to seep into our subconscious. Now, I'm doing this briefly because I want to move on to auto-suggestions and affirmations and scripting. But uh, let me just say this first. For, for people that are just tuning in for the first time uh, that have, you know, please check out some of my other videos because I go over this all, of to all the time. But I'm, I'm just saying that uh, the subconscious mind takes in information. Uh, it, it uh, let me not say that. What it does is all information is available to your subconscious mind okay all information but depending on how you are vibrating how you are feeling vibrationally is what it will connect with that's within the all okay so I talk about tentacles going out in all different directions depending on your frequency and how you are feeling and what you are emitting is what those tentacles will then attract and connect with. Okay, so auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion is a way to command yourself to shift anything about yourself that you want to shift that maybe has been implanted along the way, indoctrinated along the way, some I always speak about, that now you want to shift it. But you're not really wanting to take a lot of time to try to get the backhoe and dig up all kinds of old stuff you kind of like need to, to get on it now. And the old stuff will come up to the top. It will come up to the top. And like I said before, when it does this, you deal with it. Change the vibration of it. Change the frequency of it. Change what it means to you. Change whatever narrative you've given that sensation or that feeling or whatever you thought it was. Change it. Find a way to laugh at it if you, if you need. <laughs> but when it comes up, you know, make a, a conscious decision to change things that are no longer serving you. Okay, so back on auto-suggestion. <sighs> the auto-suggestion is a command that you give to your mind to self-direct. And if it's something that you would like it to be the dominant way, your, your, your default way of being or behaving or managing certain things, then you will have 
to give that command until that becomes a part of your subconscious mind. That means it becomes a part of your, your default mode. It, meaning when you're not paying attention, remember when you're not focused and paying attention, your, your subconscious mind takes over. So it's the, it's the, it runs things, it runs you. It's what everyone works to get. It's what everyone pays trillions of dollars. <laughs> what everyone pays trillions of dollars so they can control you, okay? <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm just saying. You want to find what it is that that you desire to have for yourself, whether it be a way of being or material things or things that you choose to experience in life or accomplish in life. And it's something that you feel is coming from the heart space because I talk about that also. So something you're inspired to, to, uh, to be, do, or have, okay? The command, the self-command is an auto suggestion, something that you say repeatedly. And you just don't say, you have to feel it. You have to imagine it. You have to feel it. You have to know it. And then you allow it to permeate your body and your being. And your body and your being, your subconscious mind, will in send out the signals, the universe will conspire with all of that to make it happen for you in your life on automatic. So auto-suggestion, you would have to use positive, uplifting, high-vibing words. You can use your name, I, so-and-so. People use I am, I, so-and-so have, I so-and-so know, I so-and-so choose, it is my choice, I choose, this is what I, my name, is doing now, I know, I do this, I do that, I love this, I love that. And you say it with such emotion and passion. This is what I call forth. And if you're one that works with your ancestors, the ones who love you the most, the ones that are, are there for you, protecting you, showing you, providing for you, loving you, showing you, providing for you, loving, showing you, providing for you, taking care of you. Those ancestors, because not all ancestors are in your corner. <laughs> so you want to call on the ones that are with you if you're one that calls on ancestors. If you're one that calls on angels, you want to be sure the angels that you call on are the ones that are with you. If you're one that says, okay, the creator of all creations, if you're one to call on the Most High, if you want to call on God, whatever it is for you that is true for you, you lift it yourself into that vibrational state because you are speaking and commanding with the emotion of, of well-being, of thanksgiving, of appreciation, of love then they will move on your behalf for whatever it is that you ask. They are there with you. They are there with you. All that is, is there, is with you. So you speak from your heart and you command yourself or if you reach out to others that you have created for yourself. That auto-suggestion coming from the heart, it's all within and it goes without. 
is all within and without. Speak with authority because when you speak with authority, you are standing in your greatness. You are standing in a place of I know who I am. I, I know my power and I know who I am. So you're not going begging and pleading. You're going with the command. And you are affirming Let me tell you about uh, affirmations and auto suggestions. Affirmations and auto suggestions are needed when you have to convince yourself of your power. Affirmations, auto suggestions, scripting, all of that is done when you have to convince yourself or remind yourself or reconnect yourself or re-know yourself to your true power. When you know who you are, when you know who you be, you don't do all of that. You may write down what, what it is what you choose, you will write down what it is, what it be, what it choose, what you command, and what you say, what you say it is, it is. So if you're scripting and you're doing any auto suggestion or affirmations, do it from a place of knowing who you are. You speak the word, and so it is. You write the word, and so it is. Now, I know I went off, so I'll make another video. <laughs> but I didn't really. Because as I'm speaking to you about auto-suggestion, affirmations, affirming, affirming, affirmations, auto-suggestions, these things are evoking and invoking. It's just another word. It's prayer. And it's you speaking the word. So as you're doing this, know who you are that is speaking the word. Because it's beyond belief and is beyond faith. It, 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 when you stand in the knowing, in the knowing, now the only reason we're having to go through all of this is because of the indoctrination, because we've been indoctrinated, because there is information that is coming to us and from all ways that we are attracting. We are participants in, in this. We are not victims. Never was, never will be. We are participants in everything that you see, or that you believe you see, you perceive you see, everything. It could not exist if it was not a part of you first, within your mind. It would not be. So when you do your affirmations, your order suggestions, your scripting, do it from a place of knowing who you are. And so therefore you are commanding, you are giving the word, and so it is. And then you will give appreciation and thankful thanksgiving to that which, to that which has put all of these principles, laws, spiritual laws, universal, universal laws in place so that your command is, re is honored. Your free will is honored.
And then you can also thank all of your ancestors who are with you, loving you, guiding you, directing you, showing you, keeping you, providing for you, that love you the most. And all of your angels that are there doing the same. This is, you know, according to your belief. Some don't believe in any of that. They just believe in themselves. And that's all fine and well. When you speak unto yourself and you speak the word, still do it from the place of knowing who you are. Much love. Thank you so very much. Next time maybe I'll, I'll, I'll speak just on the scripting, just on the affirmations, just on the auto-suggestion. It's just... Um, um, Depends on where we are, right? <laughs> much love. Thank you so very much for joining me again for another session of Trace Spirit. Namaste.